All right, guys, we are you know, getting off the plane right now. And the idea is this, that we're gonna go to the transit lounge. But before that, we're gonna go to the transit desk and get our boarding passes for our onward flight to Medina. All right, talk to you guys soon. Alright guys, so I guess the thing is this that uh, because uh, we don't have our onward boarding pass so instead of going to the transfer uh, lounge we're gonna go to the transfer desk and from there we are gonna get to the as you can see see transfers uh, it's about 10 minutes walk from here and uh, there we're gonna get our boarding passes for our onward flight to Medina and then uh, we go through the transfer uh, lounge where you have to go through the security all over again but uh, uh, show you the whole process so I hope you guys let me like it you'll understand what I'm saying anyway so it's about 4 30 in the afternoon here in Istanbul and talk to you guys soon so guys you can see all these things over here chickas means exit and then short connection international passport control and international transfers and domestic transfer so we are heading toward international transfers and like I said it's about 10 10, 10 minutes walk from here All right, guys, you can see how many departures are going on right now. And our flight leaves uh, at nine o'clock in the evening, so it's not shown over here. But I've, I'm glad to see one airline, you know, leaving for United States later in the evening. So Turkish airline has also have a late flight to Newark. All right, welcome to Istanbul, guys. Let's go to the transfer desk. All right, once you come down, you follow these stairs and follow the sign for international transfer desk. You see that guys over there, the red sign, the purple sign is for the domestic transfers and the red signs are for international transfers. If you were, your final destination is Istanbul, just go to the passport control and baggage claim. are still walking towards the international transfer desk and if you guys are here to visit as you guys know that majority of the European countries North American countries and uh, some South Asian countries have visa on arrival facility here in Turkey so when you arrive here you guys can see this sign right over here it's a visa and you see this counter over here is paid thirty dollars for a visa on arrival, and you guess you guys get six months of unlimited entries here in the United States, uh, in Turkey. All right, guys, this is a passport control. So if you arrive here in Istanbul and your final destination is Istanbul, so that's where you come. Say final destination Istanbul. That's where you go and get your immigration and customs. And we are going to the international transfers. All right, guys, this trans uh, passport control is for only Turkish citizens. So when you arrive here, do not go there unless you have a Turkish passport or Turkish residency. All right, guys, this is where we need to go at the end of it. But first we need to get our boarding passes. So, you can see international transfers you have to go to a security process all over again and then once you go through that you will go upstairs and wait for your uh, uh, gate announcement and from there you just follow the signs for your gate but right now we're going to the international transfer desk 
Alright guys, because of the heavy rain here at Istanbul Airport, flights have been delayed and guys you can see right over here. This is the transfer desk, international transfer desk over here. So it's a long wait. Wish me best of luck. So guys, as I told you earlier, heavy storm, uh, rainstorm here in Istanbul. You see the line over here? This is the line for transfer desk. Fortunately enough, a very helpful Turkish uh, airline staff helped me out to get my boarding passes, which I left at uh, Chicago O'Hare. Anyway, so now in order for us to go to the international departures, we have to go to the international transfers. You have to go to the security checkpoint again. All right, uh, I'll show you the process. All right, guys, so this international transfer is closed. So they have another one right over here. And that's where we're gonna go. And we have to, like I said earlier, we have to go to the security all over again. All right, guys. Night cancel. So guys, like I said, um, you have to go through this uh, security. So earlier, like I said, we were given a flight uh, boarding pass for nine o'clock. And when we tried to come in through those gates, uh, we were informed that our flight was canceled. So we had to go to the long ordeal of getting a new boarding pass for a different uh, later in the evening flight. So hopefully, this flight will leave on time and we'll get there finally. I'll be around four o'clock in the morning and then going through customs and taking the taxi and all that. You know, but it's worth it. So this is the security line over here. All right guys, so once we come out of this uh, international transfer security checkpoint, just follow the signs and it will take you to the main uh, lobby of the International Departure Lounge. So just follow the sign. You can see that International Departures over there. And that's where we're gonna go. So you take this escalator, two flights up. end up in this huge lounge of the departure lounge this is the international departure lounge at uh, Istanbul Airport as you can see because of the heavy storm here in uh, Istanbul the flights are delayed and look at this this is extremely busy 